Like this video right now or you're getting 13 years of bad luck. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Splashy and I'm back with another video. Now, before we get into today's video, I need to explain myself. So I haven't posted in about three months and the reason for that is because of personal issues IRL, which all have been solved now. And so I'm back grinding on YouTube and I'm super motivated to get back on the grind. As you guys can see, I'm level one, but I've been playing creative lately and I'm back. I'm going to be posting so much more than I used to before. Almost like every other day, content videos, montages, whatever you guys want to see. But I've made a channel called Splasher. Now on Splasher, I'm going to be posting Call of Duty videos. I'm playing Modern Warfare 2 right now and I'm pretty nasty. So I'm going to be posting a lot of videos there. So please, if you guys could, go subscribe to my second channel. Link is in the description. And I'm also going to start streaming on Twitch starting on Monday every single day for three hours at least every day. Grinding Twitch, trying to become partner. And once I do become a partner on Twitch, I'll start streaming with Facecam which I have uh, planned on doing for a while. I've got my Logitech camera set up, everything ready. So when I do hit partner on Twitch, I'll be making sure that I do face cam streams for the long run. But in today's video, we're gonna be going over every single setting in Fortnite. So every single setting. So when it comes to my sensitivities, the slot layouts, and I'm gonna explain every setting. So to those people that don't know much about all the settings in, the, in Fortnite, I'm going to explain every setting. And I'm also going to be showing you guys my updated settings that I'm going to be using for this season of Fortnite. And now we've come into a stage of Fortnite where it's so competitive, even arena and pubs, that you need to know every single you know setting to use in the game to become the best player and the best version that you can be. But anyways, I've missed all your boys. So yeah, let's get into the video. All right, boys, I'm quickly going to go over my video settings. Uh, I play full screen 240 FPS because I play on PC. Brightness 150. I don't play with a color brand anymore. I think without it, it looks better for this uh, stage of Fortnite. And uh, quality preset, you need to make sure this is custom and everything here is off. Every single thing is going to give you the best input delay in the game. It's going to give you the best connection. Everything is going to feel way smoother. So just turn everything off. And um, V-Sync motion player that includes, just turn these off. And then, yeah, you guys can copy these if you want. But let's get into the main settings. So I can start explaining what everything is. So toggle sprint is something that all your boys want to have on. So toggle sprint, basically when you drag your stick up, you're going to start sprinting automatically without, you know, pressing down on the stick and, you know, dragging it forward harder. And then, you know, it just becomes a mess. And it's something that when I added a while ago, but a lot of people don't know what it is for. So I would recommend turning this on. It's crucial. Auto open doors. I would have this off, especially if you play, you know, zone wars and, you know, arena and creative you don't want to have your doors opening when you're making them so um, i would have this off so mantle activation i have this on hold jump i recommend everyone having this on hold jump because when you're jumping into a nearby ledge or a corner um all you got to do is hold jump instead of clicking forward or holding forward which is kind of weird um, but you do whatever you want in, in my opinion i think hold jump is a little bit better hold this whole pickup is a pretty unnecessary setting in the game you just like when you have your weapon you can just hold use and you switch weapon on the ground, which is really, really weird. So I would just have it on off. It just, it's just something new they added. So I think it's really unnecessary. Same with toggle targeting. It's a really confusing setting and it's just going to mess your, it's just going to mess up your mind when you play and when you mark it on the map. Mark danger when targeting, I would probably take this on. It's a new setting they added. So basically when you target an enemy, right, you would get, um, it will ping like on the, on the screen that it's an enemy and not just a regular marker. So I will just turn this on. If it sounds confusing to you, you can turn it off. It's a new setting. So it's not like, it's not that important, but it does help a lot. Auto pick up weapons. And um, so basically if your inventory is empty, you just go over some weapons and it automatically picks them up. And I think this is pretty bad because you, you can might pick up some weapons you don't want to, and then you're going to have the whole redo thing and it's going to be annoying. Preferred item slots. In my opinion, I have some of the best in the game. So obviously you want to have your shotgun in the first slot. Now, a lot of people don't have this in the first slot and they don't understand the benefit of it. So in Fortnite, when you do take somebody's wall and you replace it with your own wall, when you, you know, box fight and stuff, the first weapon that you're going to take out, no matter if you had the last gun being the gun you had before you took the wall, this, the first slot is going to be the gun that comes out when you do reset back to your items. 
So that's why shotgun at the first slot is so important because when you take somebody's wall, the first slot of your guns is gonna be the one that comes out. And being the shotgun, it will be the most beneficial for you because you can instantly tap and do like 100 plus damage instead of having an SMG or an AR where you would click and then it will do like 30, 30 or 20, 20 damage. So I hope that didn't sound too confusing. Just like a quick short explanation. Basically, if you take somebody's wall, the first slot is going to be the gun that you take out that's why having a shotgun is really important and then these these are like you can have any you want i don't really use smgs in the game but when i do i put them instead of an ar uh so i'll put ar here and then consumables next to each other and then you can have whatever you want here auto sword consumables to the right it doesn't really matter if you have preferred item slots um done so this one you can ignore if you have um configured your slots already Reset building choice is really important um, so you can decide what you want to build otherwise it's going to be really tough and hard for you and sometimes you might build um, things that you don't want to build like for example if I'm building a ramp it's going to reset back to a wall instead of being a ramp again when I take out my builds and that's really good in the game so having reset building choice on is really really good. Disable pre-edit option. This is something for I added a couple months ago and it's something everybody asks for. So basically, if you do like a triple edit, sometimes it does edit the wrong thing and it messes up your entire edit. So having this on will disable that. So you will edit completely normal, even if you have more input delay or you have high ping. So this is something you need to have on. It's something you shouldn't even think about. You should just turn it on and it will just make your game way better. Turbo building, of course turn this on otherwise you're gonna be stuck in chapter one confirm edit on release this is always an on and off thing with people so i think having it on is the best so i have mine on right but i still use my confirm button but it just tricks my mind into editing faster because i have this on so just turning this on you don't need to change your confirm or anything you can just play normally just turn this on if you had it off and if you have it on already just keep it now these rest settings you guys can copy mine if you would like to but they're not that important uh, most of these probably turn them off to get better you know delay but they're not that important hot scale i would recommend 64 it's pretty low i would even recommend maybe even 60 uh, because the lower the hud the better you know frames and input delay you get so i'll just have this at 60 percent or maybe even 55 and then these are the ones i have on and then i have these off now these are my controller settings i'm going to be showing you guys right now so controller auto one i have this off it really bugs me out in game if i have this on the only thing that controller auto one is good for is let's say you're running uh, out of zone right and your mom is calling you or you need to get a drink you can quickly leave your controller and it auto runs and you come back and i know a lot of people do that but i don't do it so i have it off and uh, the next setting is build immediately build a pro i would recommend this on of course if you don't have this on you i don't know what you're doing you need to turn it on Edit hold time zero, slide hold time is full. I don't really like the slide animation in the game. Um, I hope they, you know, add a way to remove it because for me, um, sometimes when I play creative, I don't like having it on and I know a lot of people agree with me. So I'll probably have this off. Reset camera angles is something extremely, extremely confusing, but having it on pitch is what the default setting is. And this is what we had back in Fortnite. These two nuances are jaw and both, I think is how you pronounce it. So I would have these two off and just take pitch on. Reset camera time is something extremely um, confusing. I'll turn this completely off. It's something you don't want on. And then vibration off. Vibration actually makes you worse at every game you play. I know some people like the eye roll feeling that probably when they shoot somebody, it vibrates and whatnot. But um, like vibration makes you build weird. It makes you build less good and others. It makes your aim less good and steady because when you're shooting and it vibrates, it puts your aim off a lot. So I know a lot of console players especially have this on. So I'll recommend you guys turning vibration off. Now my playstyle in Fortnite is pretty fast and flashy. So I have my build mode sensitivity multiplier and my edit mode both on the same. And now I do recommend you guys having the exact same on both these because when you go into edit, and then when you go back to building, the speed is the same. So let's say your edit is like this, right? It's way slower. So when you go into edit, instead of building, it's gonna be so much slower than you build. It's gonna feel really weird, put you off. And that's why I recommend having these two the exact same. Now, if you do like my playstyle and you can watch my videos on how I play, you will know I'm pretty fast, right? And if this is too fast for you guys, you can turn it down maybe two, and then you will still have the same playstyle as me. But I have these on 2.2, 2.2. And then look horizontal and look vertical speed is just when you look around without holding anything, without, you know, ADSing. So the normal thing to have is between 40 and 46. 
I have mine at 44. I, I recommend you guys having it at 44 each or maybe less. And um, it's going to give you guys the best, best um, look speed and best aim in the game. Now, as you guys can see, there's a lot of things with boost. Um, so everything with boost, I recommend you guys turning to 0%, 0 seconds or off because boosts really put you off in game and they're not good at all. And then ADS look, horizontal speed, ADS look, vertical speed is just left, right, up, down when you have your AR or your pump or your sniper ADS, so like aiming in. So it's really important to have these low so you can hit your shots better, get more crucial shots hit, and uh, yeah, it's overall better. So I have mine at 7.7. Seven. There's a few people that have it at 10, a few people that have it at 5. So just find out what you like. I would recommend somewhere around 7 to 9, I think is the best. And then these boosts obviously off. I play linear. So basically linear makes your game way faster and smoother. Exponential is more sloppy, but however, if you do play exponential a lot, you will get smooth and it's really good for arena and competitive game modes. It gives you better aim. However, linear, uh, for those uh, mechanical freaks out there, I recommend linear. Uh, aim assist strength 100%. Of course, if you don't have it 100%, then you're missing out on some good aim. <laughs> so these are my dead zones. So if y'all boys have really, really bad stick drift, you need to have high dead zone. So high dead zone is basically between 10 to 20. So the most common dead zone in Fortnite right now is probably like 12 dead zone if you do an average on um, the dead zones in the game. But I use 10 10 because it's really good, fast, smooth. It doesn't give me that much input delay. As you guys can see, my drift is not that bad. If I just hold my controller still on the right, you can see on the circle, my the yellow thing in the middle, it's hard to see. That's how much stick drift I have, which is good because I just bought a new controller. However, if you get stick drift when you have 20 dead zone, it's probably time to get a new controller. But if you don't have money for a new controller, you can try 25 or even 30. And 30 is playable. However, it will get time to get used to it because when you move your sticks, it will be, you know, the reaction time will be a lot slower than having it on 1010, for example. Foot controller dead zone and foot controller max throttle. I have this one 50 and this one 1%. I think these are the best. And then vehicles and tank settings on and on. I would just have these on. For my audio settings, now I know this is pretty weird to show you my audio, but there's a lot of people that ask why my you know edit sound is so good and why my shotgun sound is so crisp. So main is 100% music, 0% sound effects, 100 dialogue, zero voice chat, 88. And these two zero. Now sound quality. This makes the biggest difference in Fortnite for shotgun sounds. Now, a lot of people don't know this. When you have it on long, when you have it on high, it's two completely different sounds. So you want to go into creative and you want to turn it on low. You want to try it out on a shotgun and then you want to put it on high and you want to try it out again. And you guys will feel that there's a huge difference. I personally like mine on high because it's the crispiest. However, there's a lot of Zone Wars players that put it on low. They get less input delay. So if you're somebody that plays Zone Wars, I'll probably recommend having it on low because that's what most people have. And then you guys can see these are my options, uh, nothing too crazy. And, and then these are my settings. So if you go to custom right here, switch mode is triangle. Now, a lot of people ask me, do I play claw? Because triangle is crazy if I play non-claw, but I do play non-claw. However, I use two paddles. I use the regular PlayStation paddles that you can buy. Um, I'm not sure how expensive they are. I think they were about like 30 to $35 I'm not really sure so yeah I have my right paddle as switch mode which is triangle and then my left paddle is jump which is X and that is why I have such good and smooth movement in Fortnite my edit is L3 as you guys can see it's the fastest um, edit button in the game because my thumb is always on L3 and then if we go to edit controls R1 reset L1 confirm these are the best recent confirm in the game the absolute best ones you don't need anything else when you have these on and then here's my dead zone again. I want to mention that I have my pickaxe on the down D-pad. And a lot of people ask me how I can move my pickaxe so much. But if you do play with your L3 close to you at all times, you can always go down to the bottom D-pad. And there's a lot of places to do it. If you made it this far into the video, comment GOAT. I just want to see who made it this far, who's really grinding Fortnite and wants to improve the most. Because those people are going to become the best players over time. And if you guys did enjoy the video, like and subscribe. Please check out my Call of Duty channel in the description. I'm going to be posting so much content on there. It's going to be crazy. And also make sure to follow me on Twitch with notice on there. Because I'm going to start streaming next week on Monday. And then once we get partnered on Twitch, boys, the facecam streams are going to be coming out. The videos with facecam are going to be coming out. So it's just going to be a whole vibe. But yeah, I appreciate y'all, boys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.